ki e ba wa se pe ba ye se da ye eyin alafo wi an bi mo se din tan re lewo san fun e wo e je so fun mi mo mi won o fe o ko gbodo ku o in ko gbodo se la ba ke mi o ko gbodo ku o This girl is my child. We don't have to argue over this. We don't have to. What do you mean? I don't know this girl. And you yourself, you told me that she carries bad luck. So why would I allow you to bring a girl like that into my home? Exactly, is it that is wrong with you? What is your problem? What is it that you want from my husband? A bitch, a prostitute. Ah. Don't ever call me that again. It's your mother that's a prostitute. Ah, your wife is very rude. She's so rude. Ah, come on. Ah. Bambi. Where, where Bambi. did you get this thing? This, this old car. What? Monica! Let's go. There was a woman in the Bible, and her case was very similar to yours. She was about to be stoned to death for adultery, but then Jesus stepped in. Jesus? <laughs> How do you think you can fix me? My life is rotten. Colin, it's dirty. I'm destroyed. <laughs> Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who conceals the most of them all? Why do you have to try me this much? I am tired. Oh God, please. A group of women on a weekend away in search of purpose. What could possibly go wrong? Where I come from, they get women, get married. You have to get married. You have to get... Because I want to carry my children's children. No. Get out! Get out! Am I useless? I'm important! I want to see this woman so that I can kill her! More men get wild and more sex, you stupid girl! No! Another blockbuster from his praise and glory media. Written and directed by Bola Akode. I am ready to die. I want to die now. Now in cinemas, see the screen for details of times and venues.
Hi, Tom. You right? Hello. How are you? I'm fine. What's up? I'm good. Uh, getting ready for work and uh, just thought I'd call you before I go. Talking did to you, you. Uh, get the package? Yeah, I did. Thank you so much. Do you want me to show you what they look like on my guy? I knew it will fit you. Um, okay. Let's talk when I get back. Um, I'll send you a text, okay? Okay. All right. Have a good day at work. Thanks. Bye. Bye. <sighs> hey, Cam. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Yeah, well, I guess you might just cut off the phone with. <laughs> yeah, you're right, you're right. And guess what? I just got another package today. But guess what? I got some red bottom. Le Vuitton, honey. I swear. I'm not sure because he's supposed to be calling me in the evening. I don't know. Maybe. Okay, okay. I'll see you later. Alright, bye. It's better. Some bull right now, like, you're not serious right now, okay? How are you gonna try to break up with me without any form of explanation? Babe, just calm down, okay? I said it, I just don't love you anymore, that's it. Oh, that's, that's it. I just what do you I don't mean? love you anymore. Where's that even coming from? Like, you don't love me anymore. Did I offend you? Did I do something to offend you? What did I do? Tell me. Or is this about the money? The money I promised. Are you. Because all I need is some more time. I promise. I'm. Money. Money. It's about money. I don't need your you money. Doing? I've got my own money. Really? I've got it. Is that necessary? I don't need your money. Where did you even get that from? Libby, where would you get that from? Is this what I think it is? Are you seeing someone else? Libby? Are you seeing somebody else? Because I know you. That kind of money... Am, am I... Please tell me I'm wrong. Are you... Okay, okay, yeah. Look, I've told you, I don't love you anymore. I, I don't need this. Look, I'm just done with you. Just leave my life. Don't call me. I don't still... text me. I'm done with you. I'm done with this. So just step out of my life. That's it. Just move. I'm what? done with you. But I still love Bye. Libby. Babe. And he's got a kid. What the hell? I know, trust me. He literally has got a son called Trey. He's 31. Dre. Dre. Whatever. Dre, Dre, Dre. <laughs> but literally, I'm so impressed. No. You know you were supposed to teach me some makeup things. Very simple. And you're so busy now, you don't even have any time. Girls, I'd like to say a massive thank you for coming for my birthday. I really appreciate it and I hope that I get an invite too. Obviously. <laughs> you know you wish. So Alexis, where's your boyfriend? Why is he not here? Why are you guys doing something after? Mm -hmm. Julie, they broke up. What are you trying to do? Honestly, I didn't know. I'm really sorry. It's okay. It's alright. I mean, clearly, he isn't the one. I believe the right one will find me. And when he comes, he will stay and I will know. <laughs> Literally, that's exactly what I believe. Like, once he's the one, he'll find you. <laughs> Exactly. So yeah, we hear you're dating some rich American doctor. Mm -hmm. You're so lucky. <laughs> Girl, mm. you can say that again. I've always told you guys I'm going to marry rich, yeah? Mm -hmm. Always said it. And I found him. He said he's great. Mm -hmm. And you know, whilst you guys are dying on the line in uni, on your courses, struggling with assignments, I'm just going to be spending my best money. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, let's see. You guys know how I used to think, right? Mm -hmm. But now I know better. You're talking about husbands, right? Yeah. Have you even asked God to lead you to the right man? I don't need to ask God anything. Do you think that every successful marriage asks God? Exactly. Do you know what? Don't mind telling me. 
what you need to know is is he good looking Okay. Has he got the coin? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, you know, do you enjoy his company? Are you in love? If that's, that's all ticks, then that's it. Seriously, girls, what do you know about true love, Libby? <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, don't tell me. It is impossible to love truly and perfectly without God, which is why I keep telling you girls to give your lives to Christ. Excuse me, like my mum and dad have been married for 25 years. You know, they're in, they're in love. Like, you've been to my house, you've seen that. And oh, wait, are you trying to sell church to us? I mean, I go to church. Yeah. Well, I don't believe all of the nonsense they say. But you see, each and every one of us here, we are all God's children. You're all God's children. The God you don't have a relationship with. Does God even recognize you as his child? even though you claim to go to church. You need to release your life to Christ. Accept him as your Lord and Savior. Follow him daily. And then he'll begin to lead you in all of your choices, including choice of husband. Let me see. It's my birthday celebration. If you haven't noticed. And we are all going to eat. Yes. We are all going to drink. Mm -hmm. And we are all going to have fun. Mm -hmm. So, cheers to my birthday. Yeah. Come on. Is that there? Love the shoes. Yeah. It's just a cane. And you got me the um, Tom Ford perfume as well. Come on, smell it. Nice, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. What the hell is that? What's your problem? The jellifier. Come on, you know I'm not like that. Just, I'm a little bit concerned about you. About what? Don't get annoyed, Libby. Just feel like you're going about this the wrong way. I mean, something's not right about this guy. Why do you all of this stuff and you haven't even met? You don't even know if you're a right match or not. I mean, you only met online a few months ago. What's your point? Everything's got to start from somewhere, right? So, we're starting, like, we speak to each other every day, we call all the time, we Skype like five times a day, and he's actually gonna call me soup. So, like, he's sweet, you know what? He's calling me soup. I'm sorry if I sound sinister, it's just, I've got a really weird feeling about this. Yeah? For me, it's because you don't know him, he is, He's sweet, he's a proper gentleman, and he goes to church. Don't say that. Just because someone goes to church does not make them a child of God. Evil people gather in, God's, gather in the church with God's children. But you can't see it because you don't have the spirit of God. Which is why I keep telling you to give your life to Christ. Okay? He might even give you a revelation about this guy if you let him. Kemi, what are you trying to do? Are you trying to scare me or what? Like, I don't understand the nonsense you're saying. So just stop. My problem is, I don't want you to get it wrong. I don't want you to end up in hell. Jesus is the only one with the power to save and deliver. Kemi, this conversation is done, all right? I don't want to talk about it anymore. I was done from when we started it. All right? For somebody who's not jealous, you're sounding pretty jealous to me, okay? So, Kemi, like, what? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. Stop. I don't want this to fall out of you. You know? You know I'm not jealous, right? How am I supposed to know when you don't have a boyfriend and I'm the one with the rich American boyfriend and you're just always talking rubbish? Yeah. Okay, just stop. I'm not jealous because... I don't think that me being single means that no one wants me. I just think it means that God's busy writing my love story and if I rush into a relationship, it might just ruin the way things play out. So, just be patient. Did you get that from Instagram? Some Instagram quote. Very <laughs> <laughs> chill. <laughs> Hi. Hello, baby. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. 
you look you look dressed. Uh, you going somewhere? <laughs> no, well, I just came from a friend's party. Um, but you didn't tell me you were going out. Yeah, but that's just because um, I wasn't sure if I was going to go. And then Kemi, she's actually here right now. She persuaded me to, you know, go. Oh, she's going upstairs. See ya. Mm-hmm. Okay. Anyways, um, did you did you dance with any guys there? It was, Tom, it was like a meal. It wasn't anything. There was no guys. It was just like out with the girl. Okay. Well, I was just trying to make sure, you know, uh, there's no other guy. Look. I told you I don't touch okay, so there's nobody else right now. It's just me and me. Even online? What are you trying to say? Just because we met online, you think I'd do that kind of stuff? Like, no. No, that was just you, and it just happened that way. Okay, I was just, just trying to mark my territory, that's all. I, I didn't know you had a territory already. <laughs> Guess what? I have a surprise for you. What's the surprise? You're going to have to tell me. So, what do you think about an all-expenses day trip to Houston to see Tommy? Houston? <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> I'm not joking. If you serious? Yes. So I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? I can ask my mom and see what she says about it, but I don't know. Okay, when do I get an answer? I think about it. <laughs> I'll, I'll let you know by tomorrow. God, please help me. Ah, Lord, help me. Please, God, help me. Wano, do you know what? I don't understand Libby any longer. It gets worse by the day with this new guy that she says she's seeing. And that is really, really killing me. Betty, if I tell you this is not serious, I will be lying to you. But no matter how serious a situation is, God is able to sort it out, if only we will let him. Recently, she had an abortion right under my nose. I got the letter from the NHS and I don't have a clue. And that's really, really getting at me. Hmm. Really? Ah, what they say? No matter how bad it looks, Jesus wants to help you. And do you know what? I don't want history to repeat itself. Because I see myself in her. Remember when I was her age? When you guys became Christian? The way I used to make fun of you. Do you know when I speak to Libby about Jesus Christ now? Guess what she tells me? She said I'm not in the position to tell her about Christ. She even told me I don't know how to pray. You can't listen to that. That is the devil bullying you out of praying. But she's right. Anyway, is she not? What do I know? How many scriptures can I quote? I don't even know how to pray and I know. I don't know. Oh, no, Betty. You can't do that. You attend Bible studies and prayer meetings, don't you? Prayer is simple. Is that conversation that you have with your God? Just the same way you have conversation with your earthly father. Talk to him in your language. He understands and he listens. I can assure you that. I don't know where to start, Betty. That is very simple. It's just by reading and meditating on the word of God. And purposefully determining in your heart that you want to learn it. You see, the more time you spend praying and reading the scripture, the more of his word that abides in you. It's just the same way we spend time with our earthly father and 
Even when they are not there, all their words are ringing in our ears. Betty, you'll be alright. God understands you can talk to him in your own language. Anytime, anywhere, anyhow. Remember, his network never fails. <laughs> Mom, uh, can I tell you something? What? I hope you're not planning anything stupid. Tom actually asked me to um, come to Houston for two weeks. And I think I'm going to go. What did I hear you say, Libby? <laughs> you're not going anywhere. He is the guy, and he's older. He's supposed to come here, not you going there. I'm not going to open my eyes and let what happened to me happen to you. No way. Look, Mom, you actually need to stop comparing me to you because I'm not you, huh? Just because you got pregnant for some man, I went, ugh, some man that didn't even love you, doesn't mean it's going to happen to me, all right? Because I'm smarter than you. Did I hear you say smarter? Being smart. Is you listening to what I'm telling you? I thought I was smart when I was your age. But guess what? I got pregnant for the man that did not even marry me. Maybe if I'd listened to my parents then, my story wouldn't be as pathetic as you are saying it now. No. Mom, I'm not dumb like you. I'm not stupid like you are. I'm not you, all right? You will never talk to me like that again. Look here, young lady. You better accept Christ into your life. That is the only thing that will save you here. Nonsense. Well, you're doing a pretty damn good job of preaching Christ, aren't you? Are you still sleeping? Libby? Uh, please, I'd like to talk to you. Please. I'm sorry for slapping you yesterday. I shouldn't have done. I'm really sorry. It's okay, Mom. All right? No, Libby. It's not fine. That's not how to preach Christ. Mom, it's fine. I'm not upset. It's, it's okay. All right? One more thing. It's about the dream I had yesterday. It was so scary. It was like you you are in a cage, trapped. And I was trying to reach out to you to help you. But I found that I couldn't. It was really scary, Libby. I don't know what's going on. Am I not here right now? I'm fine. I'm not in a cage. I'm, I'm okay. About Tom, has he sent the tickets? Um, how long ago did I tell you about these tickets? Like, obviously, he needs time to sort things out, and so not yet. But when he does, I'll tell you, okay? You know what? Don't get me wrong. I don't have anything against Tom. It's just that we don't know him that much. We need time to study him together. So that we know the kind of person he is. Then we can move on from there. Mom. It's like, okay, you don't want me to go, right? You don't want me to go, so I'm not going to go. Not I that. won't go, Mom, okay? I'm just scared. Just worried. I just want us to be careful. You know it's just the two of us. Mm. Aren't you late for work or something? You have to go get ready. Are you going out today? So I'll see you when you're back. Alright, I'll see you when I come back then. I love you. Mm, love you too. Mm. Bye.
So yeah, now I'm gonna go to the hairdressers. I need to obviously get my hair done, and then I'm gonna get my flight later. See, I'll text you when I'm on the plane. Okay. We do drink a lot of tea, but I actually like coffee. So. Oh, I like coffee too. You do? How yeah. do you like yours? Black, no sugar. Mm, I like mine with cream and sugar. <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you. Yes. Your house is beautiful. I, I love it. Well, thank you. It's gorgeous. Glad you like it. No, I do. <laughs> thank you. you. All right, we've got that for you. Thank you. Gorgeous, <laughs> Wow. I love that art, it's gorgeous. It's nice. It is. Yeah. Nice, yeah. She got that recently. Mmm. Yeah. Mm, this one's interesting. It's a bird in a cage. Do you like animals? Yeah, I love animals. Birds, nightingale, saints, mm. like you. Uh, kind of. Uh, <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> These four are really nice. Well, let me show you around the house. Okay. Alright. Well, you got it. Uh, so here's the room I prepared for you. Wow. Hope you like. Lovely. Put the bags in. Uh, uh, let me show you the rest of the house. Okay. As you can see, a lot of medical books. Here's a lounge, you know, game stuff, just chit chat. You play this? Yeah. You don't? It's fun. <laughs> sure. right, anyway, yeah. You like this? It's nice. It's from, uh, it's very rare. It's from, uh, it's made out of some stones from Indonesia. Fancy. Fancy, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's a laundry room. Not a whole lot in there. Just yeah. More stuff. That's the bathroom there. Yeah. So here's the master bedroom. Wow. You can come in here anytime you want. Actually. Would you like to bring your stuff in? 
It's all right. I like the room you've given me, so. Okay. I mean, I just thought I'd give you some space. That's all yeah, right. Yeah, no. But you're more than welcome to come in here anytime you want. No, no. I think it's thoughtful of you to get me another room, so okay. at least let me stay there for now. For now. Right. <laughs> yeah. But you no. want to sit on the bed? See no. how it feels? No, I'm okay. I'm okay. You okay? No, it's nice. Okay. Well, yeah, we go? I guess I'll show you. So what's in here? Uh, that's just a room full of jugs. But it'll be good for a baby's room. Okay. <laughs> Someday. Yeah. Yeah. Um, if you just let me freshen up, and I'll be downstairs in a little while. Okay. Um, so what would you like to eat? Whatever you're having. <laughs> okay. You know what? I'll get you my special fried rice. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll get dinner ready. Okay. All right, my English lady. <laughs> get to sit for you. Thank you. Wow. Have a seat. <laughs> special. I'll be right back. Okay. Here's Tom's special dish. And uh, one more thing. This is for you. Thank you. Yeah. Shall I join you? <laughs> yes, you All right. Uh. Okay. All right, so uh, I guess we can dig in. Tom. Yeah. This is amazing, honestly. Like, you're so sweet. I've never had this kind of hospitality. I'm just like, what can I say? I got a beautiful lady here, so I gotta take care of you. <laughs> and hopefully you can come back next time. It's probably gonna work. <laughs> well, that's the plan. That's the plan. See. I'm glad you enjoyed it. <laughs> All right, okay. I'm gonna take these. Uh, no? Yeah, okay. Don't worry. <laughs> okay. I got it. Chef Tom, at your service, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> you just go, go relax. On the sofa? Yes. Okay. Of course. Take my wine then. Alright. <laughs> okay. I'll take care of this. Hey, uh, Libby? Mm -hmm. Seems like you're dozing up there. <laughs> you might want to go upstairs. I know you're jet lagged, so. Yeah, I think we're going to do that. Yeah. I'll see you in the morning. Um, you know what they say, older is wiser. Yeah. 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 
Yeah. <laughs> like the restaurant. You did. So nice, yeah. yeah. Tom. I think we're gonna have an early night. I'm so tired. Uh, don't go yet. Just hoping we could sp spend some time together tonight. You know, a nightcap. <laughs> no. <laughs> Not tonight? <laughs> Not tonight. The jet lag is like hitting me, so I don't know, I'm gonna go to bed, okay? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You know, I never told you this before. What? You look way better in person. <laughs> Good night, Tom. <laughs> Good um uh leave you tomorrow. I think we're when I get back from work. Go shopping. Okay, cool. That's good. Anything you want. Alright. Good night. Good night, Libby. Good night. What the hell was that? Who the hell is she? Yeah, just ignore her. She just mad we broke up. He's sleepy again. Mm -hmm. I don't know what she's doing with her life. Mm -hmm. I'm scared and I'm worried for her, Grace. But I thought she was going to meet her boyfriend. So, is there anything wrong in that? Mm -hmm. Did I hear you say boyfriend? Yes. The, the guy that we don't even know anything about. Look, this is the picture she sent to me. Mmm, the guy is cute and sexy. Is that what we're talking about here? Oh. I kept having bad dreams since she left. I feel something bad is going to happen to her. When did she send those pictures to you? Just yesterday and I saw some pictures on her Facebook. Says, honestly, I don't know why you are troubling yourself. Here is a young lady having fun. Did I hear you say having fun? Yes. This is spiritual we're talking about here. It's more than physical. Grace. <laughs> Says, please. When did you become a Christian that you will not allow me to rest? Please, save that for your pastor on Sunday. She will be fine. Oh. I know you don't understand. I don't even know why I'm having this conversation with you. Why did I start this conversation? Can I have my phone, please? Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. Says, I'm sorry. But don't worry, she'll be fine. The Lord that kept you during your own time will definitely keep her. 
Why are you bringing my own time today? We are talking about Libby here. My own time has gone. This is Libby we are discussing. What has my time got to do with this? Please, leave my time alone. This is Libby we are discussing. Please, is there any food in this house? I'm hungry. I'm starving. So to yourself. Yo, Libby. Hello. Hey. <laughs> and um, it's your birthday. It is my birthday. Oh, wow, yeah. Hello. You remember. Hello. Well, I got you something for your birthday. You got me something. There you go. Oh, wow. Got All it specially made from England. It's handcrafted, so, so yeah. Looks exquisite. Uh, sh shall I open? No, no, no. Oh, you come to work on. Or at work. No, no. Uh, okay, okay. So, yeah. Have a good day. Don't Have miss work. me. Okay? I'll try. All try right. the best. All right. Bye. <laughs> Buenos dias. I'm, I'm here to talk. Huh? Um, soy Rebecca. I'm coming. I'm Libby. Okay. <laughs> nice to meet you. Just go through. <laughs> um, do you want like a drink or something? No, no, no. Coffee? Thank you. No, no, no. No, gracias. Okay. No, gracias. Rebecca, I'm going upstairs, so if you need anything, just call me, okay? Okay, okay. <laughs> Here you are. Come on down. Uh, uh, I want you to meet my friend and colleague Wale. Hello. Hi. Nice. And his wife, Shade. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Same here, honestly. Wow. <laughs> it is really nice to meet you. You look very lovely, lovely. Oh, thank you. So do you. <laughs> I guess we can go to. Uh, oh, the I almost forgot this gift. Yeah. Gift for me. For you, for you. Oh. <laughs> Let's go. Guys, I don't do this often. But um, thanks to Libby, <laughs> we uh, got this thing going. Wow. Thank you so much, Libby, for organizing this. It's a great opportunity to get to meet you. Honestly, yeah. I'm so glad as well. <laughs> wow, this is good. This is really good. So where are you from in the UK? I'm actually from Manchester. Manchester? The Men United? <laughs> you know the club? That's my club. No way, that's my club. Wow. I actually support Man United. I support Chelsea. I think they're in the UK. Yeah, yeah that's correct. Actually, that's true. Yes. Well, guys, enough of the football talk. My team is not doing so well, so let's just drop it. Okay. Why, what is your team? You just support <laughs> So he likes oh. Liverpool, but you know, they're not doing that badly. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, guys. Whatever. Okay, anyways. Let's change the subject anyways. So, uh, you know, how old are you now? Is it 32 or 31? 30 what? Wait a minute. Celebrate your 30th last year? Yeah, we were there, right? I remember. Yeah, but. <laughs> it's not. He's 26 today. Exactly, I'm 26. Yeah. He's 26 He's... today, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. 26. Okay. Besides, age is just a number. Um, stop counting for me, please, guys. Please. Thank you. Well, you should be counting. That way you can settle down. Right, Libby? Yeah. Yeah. About time. I guess so. Anyway, could you pass me um, the um, chicken over there? Thanks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> if you don't mind, Sade. Okay. Thanks for the party, English woman. You're 31. 31. You said you were 26. What, like, what the, who lies about their age? Libby, it's not a big deal. <laughs> How can, look, I decide what's a big deal and what's not a big deal. Age is just a number. 
a, a number. Yes. <laughs> how about 12 for a number? That's how much older you are than me. 12 years. 12 years. Listen to me, young woman. Now you stay back there. No woman! No woman talks to me like that. Would you have come all the way from England? Well, maybe. If you know my age? Maybe, but you're not gonna know now, are you? I don't think so. But now that you know, what are you doing? <laughs> I put myself on a plane. I flew 6,000 miles to come to the USA to come and see you. I need to know if I can trust you when you pull this. You're 30. Enough! Enough! We're not gonna talk about this anymore. Do you copy? Do you read me? And you stay back there and do the dishes. That's what women do, right? Sorry about what happened earlier. It's okay. It's okay. Why are you pulling back? You know I'm not a monster, right? I never said you're a monster, I'm just tired. Okay. I said no, Tom. No. Tired. What is wrong with you? What is this nonsense? You come all the way from England to meet your boyfriend and you're telling me no? 
What is wrong with you? I'm tired, like I said. I'm not in the mood. Listen, Libby. No woman tells me no. Okay? I'm not in the mood, okay? I said I'm tired. After all the money I spent on you? And you're gonna tell me no? I don't think you understand. I'm tired. I'm tired. You, Can we do this tomorrow? You can't be tired, Libby. Libby. I've said it's happening not tonight. In the mood. Get away from me. No, Tom. No. Stop it. I said no. Get off me. Get away from me, Tom. Stop it. No. Get off me. No. Get away from me. Libby. See, it could have been easier. You know I'm not a monster, right? What are you doing? Where are you going? I'm leaving. Leaving? Leaving. Libby, Libby, please. Libby, please. You you can't leave. You can't go anywhere. You can't go in. Give that to me. You don't get to leave until I say so. number you have reached is not in service. Please check the number or try your call again. This is a recording. Man. Good game, right? Whatever, who's, who's man. Who's the man on this court? Whatever. You think who the man? You think you're good? Who the man? You think you're good, man? <laughs> no, you think you're good? Numbers don't lie, right? Huh? Numbers don't lie. Whatever, man. You, you know. good? Yeah, I'm good. I'm good, man. Um, You want to go again? No, nah, no, nah, I'm good, man. You sure? I'm good. I'm good, man. My Matter of fact, right now, man, I got to go with the you? wife to get back to her. But hey, we were talking, me and my wife, about uh, Libby, man. We uh, want to take you guys to lunch sometime, you know, before she heads back to England. That's, that's, that's actually, you know, nice and stuff, but um, Libby's actually out of out of town right now. She's in Atlanta. Oh, wow. She's going to go visit her cousin, but uh, maybe when she gets back, we could arrange something and then, okay. you know. That's all right. Yeah. Uh, you know, we haven't seen you and the woman around much, man, and we were even thinking that, you know, man, to tell you the truth, man, she's young. Okay. She looks very young, man. Okay. What, you a prosecutor now? Which one of the questions you want me to answer? Man. Actually, uh, both of them. Okay. But either way, you know, I like Libby a whole lot, you know, but um, who knows where it's going to go. I might marry her or something, but we'll see. So you're not going to answer my question? I mean, <laughs> that's the only answer I can give you. All right, man, I ain't even worried about any of that. That's yeah, fine. You yeah, know, but, don't but, even you, worry but about you know that. me, I, I like him young, so. Man. <laughs> Man, I'm you're just a saying. criminal, man. You're a criminal, man. You're a criminal. You're not man. the police, are you? <laughs> okay. All right. All right. All right, man. Let's go get yeah, a fax. Hello? Hi. How 
to the game. Just good. Um, I made dinner. Um, you made dinner, huh? Yes, I did. What did you cook? Just a chicken salad and you know, some fruit and stuff. So. Okay. Okay. Do you want to go have a shower now? Or shower first. Oh, yeah. I guess so. I'll go. I'll go do that. Okay. Libby, um, just wanted to say I'm sorry. This is for you. Thank you. You uh, didn't have to. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, this is really good. You know you could cook. <laughs> what should you take me for? Some spoiled only child? Of course I can cook. My mum taught me well. Well, I like the food. Maybe. Um, I just wanted to say I'm sorry about last night. You know I, I love you, right? And I don't want to lose you. You've made it pretty clear what you want, so yeah. I'm okay, I'm okay with that. Not really? Are you, are you sure? <laughs> yeah, well, I didn't have much choice, but yeah. It's okay. Okay. Well, in that case, then, um, I guess, would you like to move to the bedroom with me tonight? Sure. Okay. Anything you want. Okay. Well, in that case, I will... Pack your stuff then. Right? Good. Libby, get up, wake up, wake up, where are my keys, where are my keys, Can you get up, right now, get up Libby, where are my keys, what you want am I talking to, where are my keys Libby, where are my keys, get up, where are my keys, you don't have my keys, you don't have my keys, okay, you think you're smart, I'm smarter than you, Yeah, hello? Yes, um... Yes. Can I, can I, yeah, can I get a locksmith? Here? Yes. How soon can you guys get here? Okay, uh, 12? Uh, uh, okay, I'll, yeah, I'll be home. Yes. 
Thank you. Thank you. So, Betty, you mean you have not heard anything from her since? I hope she's okay. Oh, no. Honestly, I've not heard anything for two weeks. Which is unlike her. It's true she can be stubborn. But not speaking to me for a whole two weeks. Even when she traveled to Harry on holiday, she kept calling me every day. I mean every day. But you said she called the second day she got to that place. Have you tried that number? I tried the number, but it keeps going into voicemail. Oh. She keeps telling me text messages that she's fine. Look at the text message she sent to me. That she's fine, she's alright, she's doing well. Betty, all we have to do is to pray. Let us pray. It shall be well.
Oh, Rebecca, um, um, she cleaned upstairs already, so don't, don't worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're done, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, let me pay you. Let me pay you. Um, just take the whole thing. Don't worry about that. Uh, I'll take care of it. What were you trying to do earlier? Answer me. What were you trying to do? Attract attention? What are you dumb? <laughs> See, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a master in this game, Libby. See, I'm a master in this game. <laughs> you mad. You mad. You mad. You mad. I am not mad. <laughs> I'm psycho. That's what I am. I wasn't always like this. Seriously, let, let, me, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Let me tell you a story. It was my last year of medical school. Hmm? I was so much in love with this girl. So much in love with her. What did she do? Took my love. She tortured me. <laughs> Use me! <laughs> and then dump me. <laughs> See, you're not, you're not gonna boss me. Cause I'm the master of my own life, baby. Huh? You hear that? I'm in control. But women like you cannot take advantage of me anymore. Do you hear that? Anymore. <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, Libby. What have you done? What have you done? What have you done? Oh, God. God. Why can't you stay away from trouble? Get up! Why can't you stay away from trouble? Huh? Why can't you stay away from trouble? Yeah, Libby! Oh, man! Oh, no. You're dead meat now. You're dead meat? You're dead meat? You're just my next victim. Oh, my God. <laughs> I am so dead. Since I've been here, I've never even seen him been this angry. Oh my god. I think he must have killed that girl. He's gonna kill me. Oh God, oh God. Is this where it's gonna end? Oh my God, where did he bury that girl? Maybe in his backyard? Or... Oh, but I don't wanna die. I don't wanna die. Oh God. Who's gonna save me? Who's gonna save me, oh God? God. Jesus. Don't even know where to start. All these quotations, all these words. How do I know that Jesus Christ listened to me when I pray? You can talk to God in your own language. He listens. He loves you. 
he wants you to come and talk to him. to the hills for who comes my help my help comes from the Lord who made heaven and earth Lord he said my God that you are the keeper that you are the keeper you will keep me in the Lord you will share the heart of any man in the Lord you will be known by that heart you shall preserve him from every evil. In the name of Jesus, let him preserve us so. Preserve us so. Lord, in the death, let him bring your pictures to protect sleeping. Let him bring me back safe in the name of Jesus. But I don't know if there's anything here. Tom, Wally. Tom, man, you promised me, man, that you was gonna help me with this project, man. I have the exam on tomorrow. Why, it's not a good time, man. Where's, where's Libby? Where's Libby? She, Libby, I'm, she, she's sleeping. Man, look, I know this is a bad time, but you promised me you'd help me with this project. I have the exam tomorrow, man. Can, can we do it tomorrow? Man, I, there is no tomorrow, man. Tomorrow is where I have to take the exam. Um, you promised, man. All right. Um. Okay, give me a few minutes. All right, fine. I'll, right I'll meet you out here. Oh.
Parker, you're under arrest. Put your hands behind your back. Rebecca, you? After all I've done for you? Huh? Libby. Libby, you're dead. I'm 